Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to RNS Life After 55. As you saw in the little preview there, we are finally getting around to doing our um, RV door. We have to put a window in it, and we have to put an RV latch on it. Um, if you're wondering, Rusty, you know, still is uh, very ill from his throat cancer. So we're going to do the best we can today, but he's really wanting to get this job started because we kind of have a surprise to tell everyone here later, but I don't think we're going to do that today. But we're going to need the trailer pretty soon for sure. And um, so this is the job we thought we'd try to get started today. It is the last day of September, I think. Isn't it, Rusty? And it's probably a good... 85 degrees out here right now. The sun is very, very bright. I can't see, I can't even see my screen. And when you're up on a ladder in still in the sun and not in the shade, it feels like 110 degrees. So we may be sweating today. Um, but we're going to see how far we can get on this door. Hopefully we'll get it finished today because there is no rain until I think my son told me Wednesday. So that is what we're going to work on today. So I'm going to get snibblers. First thing, of course, we did was we took the door off and we've taken the hardware all off. That's what Rusty has just finished here. Um, <clears throat> for anyone who says she does all the talking because someone made that comment on one of our posts, my husband has stage four throat cancer. I do all the talking because he can barely talk. So if you're wondering, you don't need to leave a comment. Yes, I'm doing all the talking. It's not because I'm controlling everything. It's because he just can't talk right now. He started having that issue about February, right before we found out he had throat cancer. So anywho, that's what we're doing today. And if you're, want, if you're here because you're just wanting an update on Rusty and he, everything going on, we are going to make another video just for that and update you guys he is i don't know what five or six weeks past treatment and you know it's not great his healing is very very slow but we will catch you guys up on another video that'll just be um thumbnailed for his cancer so that's where we're at today thank you for joining us please don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this kind of stuff we are working on our uh, cargo trailer conversion because we are going to be staying in it pretty soon quite a bit but I'm not going to tell you guys much more than that because that's a secret and a surprise to come we'll see you guys in a little bit thanks for watching And I'm trying, I try to do as much as I can. Rusty's still very weak, and it doesn't take much to get him really worn out. He did eight chemo treatments, he did 35 radiation treatments. Anybody who knows anything about cancer knows that's a lot. So I try to step in and do as much as I can for him. Okay, Rusty, that's off. Do I need to flip it over? That piece is off. I might be in trouble for taking that piece off. We'll see. Okay. Let me get. What's that? What's the news? I'm not selling today, though. Okay. In plywood, it's gonna strip. Okay, we're just taking the skin off, right? Right. Okay. Oh, we got staples over there that's keeping it from coming off. You got you got some just push it back on the board a little bit and keep it like that. Okay, so I'm going to catch you guys up real quick because I've been doing most everything, which is fine, but I just, Rusty's not a person that can film anything either, so I'm going to try to catch you guys up real quick. Um, I came in and I made a template for a window cutout, 
based off of our window there and all I had to do was take this frame right here off of it and then uh, I used the frame and then I had to go back around as you can see on here and I had to add a half inch to it so it would be a big enough cutout and it seems to fit about perfect I'm using the actual window to measure it on so that's pretty good and then I'll take you outside and show you I've been really busy hang on one moment okay and I'm outside again so I can't really see my screen but uh, Rusty measured off for these shams and then I finished cutting those for him he was getting tired and uh, I'm not making him do any more than he feels like he can do and right now he's in the house so he's probably resting then I came and I took some of our scrap don't throw your scrap uh, insulation away that you use on your build because those pieces work great for doors and what they did on this door this was just these were just hollow spots every place you see insulation those were just hollow spots in that door which explains why it was so flimsy so I stuffed it with insulation measured that cut it and got it in there and we're having to use these shims I'm not sure if you can see or not but I'm gonna try to show you we're having to use the shims because our insulation is one inch and the actual door is probably not quite three quarter inch so we had this thin sheeting that we used on the end of our cabinets and we're using that to shim that a little bit there to keep everything as solid as we can and the next thing I think that we're going to be doing is Rusty's trying to figure out how we're going to attach the RV latch so I'm going to try to get that if I'm not having to do most of it um here's our RV latch right here hope you can see it um but he's got to figure out how to get that on there and then once we get the RV latch on or figured out, I'm not sure if he puts it on before or after, we can put, he may cut the window next. I'm not sure how he's going to do this. We'll show you guys though. Um, but he'll have to, and our window is not going to fit where we were, the way we were going to originally put it. So instead of it being up and down window like you see in most RVs or like our windows right up there are, Instead of it being up and down, it's going to be sideways, crossways, which is perfectly fine with us. We don't really care. Um, so, you know, you got to improvise. you got to change things once you get in and find out what you're really dealing with. And that's what we're dealing with. So we don't want to cut the main support frames out of this door because then we just pretty much be starting all over building a door. Rusty said, though, eventually he's going to go down the shop and build a new door for this trailer. Uh, since we can't find one that'll be better than what we have here, but for now this is going to have to work so um, We'll be cutting out the hole for the window getting our V latch on We'll have to put our skin. I think we yeah We only took the skin off of one side So we'll put the skin back on it and then it you know our hardware and hopefully it'll be ready to go back up there But easier said than done, right? So that's where we're at. We'll get more just as soon as um, I find out He's got the knowledge and the know-how, and I can do the work, so I have to have him out here telling me what step to do next. So, that's where we're at. Okay, so Rusty's back out here. We took a break. It's really hot today. I can't believe that it's almost October 1st. It is so hot. Um, <clears throat> but uh, we took a quick break, had a little bit of lunch. I did. I don't know if he did. But... Um, he said next thing we're going to do is square this door because it was not square. Of course, now I'm worried if we square it, if it'll fit back on <laughs> the same holes that's already there. We'll see. But we're going to... He's going he's gonna to check the doorway first. So it's going to have to be out of the same amount of squareness, I think. So he's going to square it. And um, then we're going to glue and screw our shim middle shim pieces that we cut uh down to that so they don't move and um and then kind of go from there okay we're gluing those shims in and then he's putting screws in them too we're using these little tiny flat headed screws so they won't go through our tin or aluminum or whatever that skin is Just like that.
Okay, so it got up to 97 degrees today. Yes, the last day of September, 97 degrees here in Oklahoma. So we went in the house and now it's like around 85 degrees. Feels so much better. So we are gonna get started. I'm not sure what Rusty's doing over there, but we're gonna get started. I think he's about ready to start putting the uh, latch. Wait, where do I see pencil marks? Right there. We're gonna put the, start putting the latch in. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, Rusty's working on this door latch now. And what's that thing called, Rusty, that you're doing sideways screws with? I want to Craig jig. Craig jig? Okay, a Craig jig. That's what it is. So that's what he's doing right there. He's putting holes there. I'm not sure. But, um, and then the dead boat we bought, y'all, was just a generic Amazon one, but it does have the, uh, the walk, but it does have a dead bolt on it. Came with that. Let me show you real quick. It came with, it, this one came with instructions. I don't know if it had a, did the template have instructions have a template on it? No, there's no template on that. It came with the, uh, parts that go on the, you know, the edge of the dooring and we have a, two keys for the deadbolt, two keys, they're different, separate keys for each lock, and it came with a few screws. So, oh, and it came with, of course, the inside part of the door, too. So, the whole thing, I believe, is there, right, Rusty? From what we gather on, from people, other people online, though, we may have to come up with a couple of screws, but we have tons of screws. Screws are going. Yeah, the screws that go on the side, so, but we have lots of screws. We're not worried about that. Okay. Moving right along now. Not sure what he's doing next. Y'all, here's Rusty's voice. It's not very good yet. That's why I get to do all the talking. That board's the one that came with the door, right? Yep. Yeah. And then we have the, the, um, our shim piece that goes on top of that, which hasn't glued that in yet. Oh, they had it, you guys... You can probably see where the rusted staples were, but they had it stapled on both sides. But yeah, that's how they did it. They just stapled it together. Well, you can see right there. The few inside boards that they did use to sturdy it up, it wasn't made well made at all. Um, but at the time we were looking for a trailer, we were having a hard time finding one that had everything we wanted and the height and in the price range that we wanted so it is what it is Rusty looks like he knows what he's doing, but this is his first one, and he's figuring it out as he goes. Am I right, honey? Yeah. Yep. So. So what he's done so far is, I believe he's taken this piece. I'm going to set it right there for a minute. He's taken that piece, and he's making him a place to know where to cut his wood now because this has to go all the way through the wood and the metal and everything else to the other side. So, um, so we can attach it with the front piece that's over there. So we're gonna watch how he does this. Is it going through the aluminum on the other side too, I guess? And this, this, this top part right here is the outside of the door. So this aluminum we're keeping in real good shape. And then the underneath aluminum that's on there right now, it's going to be covered up by that piece. What we bought yesterday, because it was cheaper than beadboard, beadboard was like $42, I think. 
we bought a piece of four by eight sheet of the cabinet um what you put on the end of your cabinets so you can stain them and make them look good if they're exposed the part of the cabinets that are exposed that you can see and so we bought a sheet a four by eight sheet of that we're going to cut it down and we're going to i'm going to stain it and that's going to be the inside what the inside the door will look like um that way it'll match the rest of what I, we call the upstairs area in there because it's all with stained wood and on that well most of the trailer stained wood so we're going to match it up now he's going to get noisy oh. wrong saw blade oh nope Parts out. That's what he looks like when he's thinking. See, y'all, poor Rusty still has his feeding tube in him. <laughs> Sorry, honey. Some people will probably be asking, what is that thing in his shirt pocket? <laughs> But he's not using it anymore. We're hoping Tuesday they'll tell us we can schedule to go get it out. Okay, I'm trying to edit video while Rusty's over here doing something I can't help him with. Let me move my finger out of y'all's way. Um, I'm trying to edit video and Rusty hollered and said, hey, and look, he's already got that in and it looks pretty darn good, doesn't it? There's the things that, and one of those, remember there was two silver pieces in that kit. One will go over this and then one will go over the, on the door jam. So good job. Okay, we're getting there. My mighty mouse husband here waits for no one and I was tied up for a minute and he's getting this last piece of um, uh, I already forgot the name of what you call that um, tell me what that's what did you call that trim not trim well, it's uh, serving two purposes it's serving two purposes <laughs> it's a spacer a spacer to make up right right ranch. but you called it something else earlier and I can't remember what that name was but also the way I put them on, I overlap the cracks. Okay. So they're gussets. Oh. To help. To help stabilize, stabilize this it. really cheap, flimsy, stupid door. Okay, guys, you heard that all from him and, well, kind of me. Well, see, I ran this past. Yeah, you did. These. Okay. Which so what he's saying is underneath this board is where the cross board here was originally in and it came up and met with this so he's using our boards to go past that to help kind of band-aid it all together better because it's not it is not a good door um Rusty what what is it deep south or south deep or something the brand because I bet you that's probably everybody's question right now is what kind of trailer did you buy and honestly We've been happy. We were happy with the frame of the trailer when we pulled the flooring out and started at the very beginning. We were real happy with that. We we're not happy with either one of the doors, but we knew that the minute we bought it. We said these are not good doors. We will have to take them apart and beef them up and add insulation, even the back door. But this trailer here, uh, we bought it. We bought it used too, but. You could tell when you lift the door, this, this door weighs way more than that way bigger door on the new trailer does. You could, you, it was solid. You could tell it was insulated. We didn't do anything. We didn't take it apart. We knew it was a good door. Um, and this brand, if you are looking for a good brand trailer, I would um, suggest this one. And it looks like it's Southland out of Batesville. So, um, Mississippi. So, yeah, this trailer, 
Do I like our, we put those stencils on there too. It needs a bath really bad. We've thought about selling it, but we have a lot of family members that are like, oh, can I borrow that now that you're building another trailer? So I don't know if we're going to sell it or not. We'll see. But so what we're doing to, to the front door here, when Rusty's better and we both are up to it, we're going to hit the back door and do the same thing to the back door. But right now, that's probably not going to happen. We need this door done, though. We need that RV latch so we can use it. We can't use it the way it is right now. So, okay. I'll get off here and show you guys more progress as we get it done. Okay, so we laid our the template I made on here. And getting ready to cut a window in this door. What's the tape? The tape is right, in, right there where I left it earlier today. Okay, he's going to tape it. Um, generally, that just helps to keep you from scratching your skin. This is a skin we don't care about oh. anyways. So, I didn't know if there was another. I was going to ask you to tell, let people know a second reason that you would tape it. Just to keep from scratching your aluminum, right? Right. Yeah. Since we don't care because this aluminum's getting covered up. We don't care if we scratch it, so I think he's going to hit it now. So, otherwise, um, get you some green or blue painter's tape. It works great. Well, oh, my finger was in the way again. Sorry, guys. There's a hole in the door now. Hopefully, it's a window now. Or it will be a window soon. He doesn't cut his fingers trying to do it. Okay. Now, can you go get the piece? Yes. Okay, guys. I'm just doing a little quick um, voiceover. It got dark on us, so we had to quit for the day. Um, we did get started on it the next day, but I'm going to go ahead and split this video into two parts because it's already getting pretty long where it is, but we will get this project finished and I'll get the second one posted just as soon as we are finished with the door um, install. Thank you guys so much again for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great evening.